Boys Collector Sleuth here, and today I have some Nightmare Before Christmas, Inesco, Disney Showcase, Cotier de Force figures, and a our figurines and a chalice. So let's start with the chalice. And these all came out this year in 2020. So here's the chalice or goblet or whatever you want to call that. We have Jack and Sally here on the front. I want that to be the front, I guess. Boogie Boogie. Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Zero. And then it's got some spider webbing here on the bottom of it and some fake jewels there. And stainless steel top, or some kind of metal, looks like to be. No, is that metal? I want to say that's metal. So that's pretty cool. And they did make these chalice, chalices or goblets um, for other Disney movies as well. Um, here's the nightmare one, though. So pretty cool. And here on the bottom, the yeah, number before Christmas chalice. They're calling it a chalice. So there's that. And then now for the Couture de Force figurines. These came back out like back in like uh, August, September time frame. Um, I was waiting for the prices to drop before I purchased them. And the prices did drop. So if you know where to look, um, you can get them a lot cheaper uh, than the original. Well, not a lot cheaper, but you can get them cheaper than original retail. So here is Jack. I'm going to start with Jack. And they all come in this blue striped box. It says Disney Showcase on it. Um, all the Couture de Force, Force figures come in a box like this. Ooh, he's got lots of These the flakiest styrofoam. Okay. Trying to get all that off of there. This makes a mess. All right. So there's his little tag. Take that off. All right. So anyway, he's got this like big cape looking thing on. Um, it's like green and black. Here, I'll, I'll zone in here on this in just a second. Where's his fourth finger? Oh, but it's inside there. I was gonna say he's only got three fingers here, but I'm sure the fourth one's hidden somewhere. But here's four fingers on this hand though. So yeah, they got the finger count correct. So yeah, the the, bag, the cape on the back is pretty much just black. It's got a lot of toning in it, like um, you would normally see on a Couture de Force figure. So that's pretty nice. It's got <laughs> stuff is just everywhere. So here on the inside, you have all these swirls. And like I said, there's green in here. So it's, it's like black and it molds into green. So that's pretty nice. So pretty cool. So next let's do Sally. So she we'll get Jack and Sally together here. Now the Sally one is harder to find um, as far, I mean, she's not hard to find. You can still find her pretty pretty easily, but she, 
but for cheap, she's hard to, harder, a lot harder to find. Um, I think people preferred her over the others. Uh, I think she probably just looks better. We'll, we'll find out once I get her out of the box. She's in there. I got her from Hallmark.com. I had some coupons through Hallmark, so I just bought, purchased, purchased her off of there. But, uh... Oh, yeah, she is nice. Very nice. She don't have that, all the foam all over like that other one did. Yeah, she's not too bad. Okay. Let's get you aside. She looks a little Sally. I like her dress a lot. Um, it's got the same, you know, kind of patterns that her regular dress would have. Her face looks really good. Once again, they, Coterie de Force does a nice job on Sally. They almost always do a really nice job on her. Um, I like her little hair. Oh, they tied it back there. It's really cute. All her stitching. We've got a little jewel right there. So this is a really, really nice figure. Oh, here's the price. Oh. I bought this offline, so I'm surprised they had a sticker on it. So yeah, these do retail for about yeah eighty dollars. Um, I think I paid with coupons. I only had to pay about like twenty dollars for her because um, I had a lot of that uh, Hallmark um, rewards dollars, and so I was able to get her a lot cheaper. But yeah, I mean to buy Sally, you are looking around at around um, between seventy to eighty dollars for her. But Jack, I think you can, if you look hard enough, I think you can get him cheaper than that. So. There's those two. And they look really nice together. Here, let's turn you this way. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, there you go. So very, very, very nice. She does look better than him, but that's typical. Uh, Couture de Force, like I said, always does a nice job on Sally. And Jack doesn't look bad either. But I always like the Sallys. They always do a really good job on, the, on her. So this year, we got some new characters from Couture de Force. We have Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I'm going to open this one up. Before they have only done Jack and Sally. They did a, a Jack and Sally and then a Jack and Sally Christmas and then a Jack and Sally together. So and here we got Jack and Sally again and we got some additional characters this year. Now these I got off Amazon. These guys I did. Here's Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I got some on a black base, but here we go. Yeah, Lock, Shock, or Lock, Shock, Barrel. So they're holding him up there in the middle. And he's got, oh, he's got little suspenders on. That's really cute. Let me see those. They blend in real well, so it's hard to sell. He's got like a little tux on. There's a little tail. And she's got this cute little dress on with some bloomers or whatever they call those types of pants. Um, longer fancier pants there. And some gloves on. So very, really cute. She's got her spiky hair. It's wire. So there's those. And they do all seem to have their masks on. So they all have their masks. You know what would be cute? They had a masquerade line. If they would do Lock, and Shock, Lock Shock, and Barrel as a masquerade and just have their masks out. I mean, they already have masks. So um, that would be kind of cool to see. They would include them 
in the masquerade but i'm not sure they're making any more for the masquerade uh code 34 so the last one is oogie boogie So here's Oogie Boogie. Now, he doesn't have a base like Lock, Shock, and Barrel do. Um, little tag. Anyway, he's got this kind of a southern uh, jacket on. Um, I don't know what style you call that. but uh, So this is pretty cool. He's holding a top hat. And they got a lot of color and texture in his um, body here, which is really cool. Oh, look, there's little bugs on his vest there. That's so cute. It's very, very cute. Um, I think his face kind of maybe borderline looks kind of froggy. But other than that, I mean, it's it's that's really what he looks like. So, um, I don't know, maybe the... Could have done a maybe different mouth expression, make him look a little less like a frog, but I don't know. I mean, that really is kind of what, it, what he looks like. So, anyway, he's pretty cool. All this blue, bluish, purpley coat on, or a tux jacket, or whatever you call that. So very nice. Anyway, guys, um, let's line these up a little bit. You can take another look at them. So here they all are. Once again, Sally's going to be my favorite of the group. Uh, but let me know if you disagree. Maybe you liked a different one better. Uh, I think Sally looks the best. Though the other ones are very nice as well. And I thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. And check back for new content.